Thanks for tuning into the show. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. And let me explain. Anchor is a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And the best part about it, it's absolutely free. Download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. Times are changing. Things are getting crazy. I just want to live life and try to raise my baby. And it's crazy, 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 crazy. Hello and welcome to Up for Discussion with Swarthy Communique. This is Swarthy Communique Up for Discussion, Communication Wednesday. I am not dropping this podcast until the 26th, which is Thursday, because I started off late with this here blog of the podcast. But as promised, I'm back. Season two. We're in season two. Uh, for discussion, I said I was coming back in the spring, and I guess I kind of got pushed out by storm, you know, with what's going on, this coronavirus and all, you know, and everybody's in a state of pandemic, you know, I've I've never seen so many people panic over a upper respiratory infection in my life, you know, it's just like, what's wrong with people, you know, how many colds and flus have you caught back? what, since the beginning of time, you know, we all got sick with the cold and flu, but it's never been to this um, extreme level. And um, I'm noticing so many things going on with the food shortages and the businesses shutting down. And, you know, I'm looking at the public and realizing, wow, you know, they're really selfish. A lot of people are really selfish. You know, they don't really consider the elderly they don't consider the children. They're just like, hey, I'm going to get for me and mine and to hell with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And right now in this state of emergency, this is not the attitude to have. People should be more caring and giving like the days of the old, you know, but we do live in a different time where it's a selfie generation. Like I was speaking in one of my other podcasts, you know, it's a selfie generation. Everybody cares about themselves. Like, what What about me? What about me? What about me? And they really don't think about others. And you could basically see, as I went to the grocery store, you know, confused and dazed. You know, I've never seen shelves so empty. You know, I went to go get some, you know, pasta, some noodles for my pasta. The, the, the pasta all gone. The, 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 the spaghetti sauce was all gone. Shit, the ramen noodles. The camp goods, the flour, the eggs, everything was just gone. I'm like, wow, like even the survival foods that we were raised on were gone, okay? I think somebody that took all the ketchup, the peanut butter and jelly, the bread, the toilet paper, the waters. I'm like, what is wrong with people? You don't need that much stuff. You only need what you can consume, you and your family. The rest of it will go to waste unless it's stored, you know, storage good like canned foods and things as such. But, you know, I don't know. It's 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 sad how everyone has become so selfish and they don't think about others but themselves, you know. And um, I just basically wanted to do this uh, blog and podcast today just to, you know, share my thoughts and my opinions on this whole thing. I even have a couple of articles to read with you. Um, I'm going to read it to you on this, on this live podcast, because I want you to know too, I've been researching the coronavirus and looking at false claims, but I want to bring up something to the public, you know, and just let, let me know if it's me, but I want to bring up something to you. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and read this um, blog that I wrote today. 
basically in regards to this uh, coronavirus. And it reads, the coronavirus, a.k.a. COVID-19 or COVID-19, also known as the Rona. A global pandemic has taken the world by storm to the point where countless citizens all around the world has gone into panic mode. And I would like to share my outlook on this whole situation. COVID-19, AKA the coronavirus, also known in the urban communities as the Rona, has taken the world by storm to the point where there are massive layoffs and mandatory quarantine from this upper respiratory infection. Just like the flu, every year about 33,000 die from a common flu. But this coronavirus is expected to kill many more according to scientists and many surveys. Now, my problem with scientists and surveys is this. Okay, you're taking a guesstimated guess. It's not a fact. It's not it's not true from what your data. I mean, you're getting data, you're getting data, but whose data are you collecting? Are you collecting people by nationality? Are you collecting data by people in that region? You know, how are you guys collecting your data? Because um, I see a lot of stories going around, you know, they just seem to, they just seem not to make any sense. Like it's not adding up. But anyway, let me read on. With the coronavirus or the COV COVID-19, it, what it is, is it's a respiratory illness that could be spread from person to person through coughs and sneezes, okay? And they actually have a um, hypothesis linking the illness to, to a seafood market in Wuhan, China. Okay, the person who visited the market fell ill and the virus began to spread. Um, the incubation period for the COVID-19 is 14 days after being exposed to the virus. The symptoms include cough, fever, and shortness of breath. It can lead to respiratory difficulties resulting in kidney failure and death in some rare cases. These symptoms may mimic um, or they seem to mimic a mild cold or flu. And how you can protect yourself from this virus is to make sure you're getting plenty of vitamin C, which in many, which in many forms um, can be citrus fruits and juices, vitamin D, which comes from the sun, and you could also take elderberry and many other immune system boosters like echinacea and oregano oil. Another good thing to do is to stay sanitary. Keep your hands washed. Make sure you are washing your hands because um, that's very important. I know some people, like at my job where I work at, I go into work and they'll go and just drop a mad load, walk out the bathroom and not wash their hands. And I'm like, you nasty bitch. Uh, you know, I just, I'm, I excuse my language, but that's just disgusting. Wash your filthy hands, you filthy person, you. But anyway, like I said, if you take care of yourself and your hygiene, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Because basically, according to, you know, your body, when you're eating certain foods, it can basically, um, it's a, it, it, you could put your body in an ascetic environment by eating a lot of meats and cheese and yogurts and and foods that basically will cause your body to uh, be in an ascetic state or you can eat fruits and vegetables that will bring your body to a more alkaline state you know by drinking alkaline water you know citrus um veggies leafy green vegetables you know you could turn your body into an ascetic um environment which it will uh, produce no mucus because at the end of the day, let's keep it one thou wow. Mucus makes you sick. Mucus is where all the disease and bacteria sticks to you. So if you're eating a whole bunch of bullshit, yes, mucus is going to form. The virus is going to stick to you and you're going to catch something. And that's just the way the body works. You can prevent this illness by changing the way you eat and your diet and your intake, okay? So I'm going to go to the little topic, the other topic I wrote about the food shortages nationwide. Shoppers are in a state of panic as toilet paper and water, as well as other food items, fly off the shelves. In the state of panic, the average people who no longer show regards for humanity, selfishly taking all the food for their families, they forget about the elderly and the families of small children who also need basic needs to survive. Upon being in the crowd of frantic shoppers, 
I realized how uncivilized some will become when it comes to survival. A lot of people resorted to animal instinct, fighting over toilet paper and amongst other items, okay? When people are in this state of panic, it is best to avoid these places as much as possible. What bothers me, though, is that the media says to avoid groups of 10. But when people are in line or on the bus and at work, they are more than groups of 10. Wouldn't this spread the virus on a larger scale? Questions are unanswered and the public is concerned about their survival at this moment. And I could feel them because we all are are thinking about, hey, what's going on? We all kind of wondering what's going on here. Martial law in the United States. Some say by the president of the U.S. declaring a state of an emergency and the National Guards are being deployed in the U.S. that we're living in a state of martial law with countless conspiracy theories, which conspiracy only means a person have reason to think that their government is trying to plot against them. It's not so far fetched. With mandatory curfews and businesses shutting down, it is causing the people to talk. And all this quarantine madness is driving some people to the brink of insanity as they try to figure out how the world has literally changed overnight. The new way of living, this new world order, will be the order from here on out. I remember in 2018 when the Jade Helm drums were be happening in the U.S. Now this pandemic is causing the world to panic and go into complete chaos. Maybe the guards are here for, our, for the protection of the people. Uh, we'll never know. But we'll we'll find out as the story plays on, you know, we'll find out whether what these guards are here for. A lot of people say they here for FEMA camps, which in in so many words, I do agree to an extent because I've been I used to be one of them conspiracy theories that theorists that used to research stuff. And then I let it go and come to the fact, yeah, I was right about some things because I'm seeing things playing out. But we'll we'll see. I'm not going to talk too much on that because I want to see. If it's for certain, but right now it looks like we're under martial law. But anyway, in conclusion, it's sad to say, but this coronavirus is really showing the true colors of a lot of individuals. How low have we fallen to take from the elderly and children? Instead of being considerate, a lot of people are selfish. In order for humanity to keep on moving along and striving, we must show compassion and love to get through the epidemic. By taking care of yourself, by eating good foods that will help combat the virus. We don't need no vaccines. We just need to eat and live better. People need to keep their bodies and hands clean when using the restroom. Wash your hands. Unsanitary conditions is the cause of disease. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So to all you people who are nasty, straighten that shit up. Histories past, the Moors taught the Europeans how to bathe. They were dying from the Black Plague even back then. Reason why? Because of their unsanitary conditions. This disease was caused by people eating the wrong foods. Some foods people don't even have no business eating. One infected person can affect the whole world by not taking care of themselves. Let this be a lesson to humanity. Stop thinking of self. It's not just you on the planet. It's 7 billion people that live here. So be kind and mindful. Swarthy communique. Now, that was my blog. It was short. It was quick because like I said, I can't really expound on this topic yet because it's still in the beginning stages. You know, all we know is that people are panicking, buying up all the damn toilet paper, um, flipping out, you know, uh, losing jobs, you know, don't know how they're going to pay their rent, don't know where they're going to get their next meal from. And, you know, it's just a bunch of chaos going on. But, like I said, upon my observation, I've been reading up on some things and I read an article from Rutgers, I think, I think that's the way you read Rutgers or Rutgers. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or I don't even know if I'm doing that correctly for real, for real. But I basically found a topic on Rutgers talking about the false, uh, the false um, conspiracy pertaining to this uh, COVID-19 virus okay but i wanted to read this really quick and i wanted to get an opinion from others to see how or what you think about this because i read this article and it was a little bit 
alarming to me. You know, it might be my paranoia. I don't know. But I'm going to read it out loud because I really want for the masses to hear this and to tell me your input on what do you think this is pertaining to. Okay, I'm here on rudders.com. The uh, article is called Rudders Fact Check, March 9, 2020 at 9.42 a.m., 16 days ago. And it says, false claim, the coronavirus is designed and any vaccine that is developed could infect you with the disease. Okay, so this is what they're talking about. It says a Facebook group shared an image on Facebook that claims that viruses, including the coronavirus, are designed and that the coronavirus vaccine will infect you with the virus. The claim is referred to COVID-19, the new coronavirus strain, first reported in Wuhan, China on the 31st of December, 2019. The claim that coronavirus is designed is unfounded. CDC explains the source of COVID-19 was most likely a large seafood and live animal market in Wuhan, China. COVID-19 is believed to have been spread from an animal to a person, much like MERS or SARS. There is no indication or publicly available evidence suggesting that the coronavirus was designed. The Melinda and Bill Gates Foundation did fund a research center in England called the Pure Bright Institute, which is named in a misleading post, they are saying. The Pure Bright Institute specialized in the study of viruses that affect farm animals and viruses which transfer from animal to people, but they do not own the patent on the COVID-19 coronavirus. The Pyrite or the Pybright Institute has a patent for a type of coronavirus affecting animals, primarily chickens, which can be seen here. The Pybright Institute addressed the confusion between their patented and the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The Pybright Institute carries out research on infectious bronchitis virus, IBV a coronavirus that infects poultry and pork porcupine or porcine delta coronavirus that infects pigs basically pork pork poultry and pork they've been testing this out on okay and pyrobrite does not currently work with human coronaviruses for more information on coronavirus livestock research it could be found on their website The Post claims that the CDC will soon say a vaccine is available for Ebola, Zika, and or Corona. There is already a vaccine for a certain strand of Ebola. See here. No vaccines are currently publicly available for Zika. There's still no vaccine available for COVID-19. The further image claims that the vaccine will contain the virus. If you get vaccinated, you might become infected with the virus. Some vaccines do contain a version of the virus that has been weakened, but it will not give you the disease. It's vaccinating against. The CDC clearly describes how vaccination works here. The CDC explains vaccines help develop immunity by imitating the infection. This type of infection, however, almost never causes illness, but it does cause the immune system to produce T lymphocytes and antibodies. Sometimes after getting a vaccine, the imitation infection can cause minor symptoms such as fever. Such minor symptoms are normal and should be expected as the body builds immunity. There are multiple types of vaccines. Some, not all, vaccines are used parts of a virus to strengthen the immune system to it and this is done in medical scientific process safe vaccines pass many stages before becoming available to the public okay and that was just that quick little article i wanted to read there but it's a couple of things that i would like to talk about and go over didn't they say that the COVID 19 virus was spread from animal to human okay bing that's critical thinking number one Critical thinking number two, if they're testing this so-called virus on chickens, poultry, and pork, how do we know that they have not 
tested it on the foods that we're eating and somehow we contracted the virus by eating the foods. Reasons why I'm saying your diet must change. You must get away from the meat. Unfortunately, if you want to be healthy, you got to stop eating the meat. You got to stop eating the meat because you don't know what type of infections they are pumping into this meat. And I know in my community, a lot of my people eat a lot of pork and they eat chicken. And unfortunately, I try to tell my people not to eat pork, but they don't listen. They like, we going to die of something. So, you know, I guess y'all asking for your wish, basically. And then another thing that was that was uh, very uh, interesting is that Bill Gates, Melinda and Bill Gates Foundation funded the research for this to happen. And I also seen a video on YouTube that is circling around with Bill Gates saying out of his mouth that we need to depopulate. Okay, the world is too many people. We have too many people. We need to depopulate. Okay, so I don't trust Bill Gates to as far as I could throw him. He wants to depopulate the planet, not knowing that Mother Earth has room for all her people on this planet. You ain't Mother Earth. You have no idea. Okay, so I wish these Europeans would stop dictating and making rules over the rest of the world because we not with it, to be honest. We not with it. We really not. We really not with that shit. That's you. You. You speak for your kind. Don't speak for mine. All right. But anyway, like I said, I think that's really interesting that they funded this whole study of the coronavirus. OK. And then on top of that, they're talking about even with the vaccine, they're going to give you the damn virus. To fight the virus so you could build immunity to the virus. Come on, man. That's B.S. If the Pyrebright Institute is carrying out research on infectious bronchitis virus, which seems like COV or COVID-19 has a lot to do with respiratory bronchitis type symptoms, if you really look at it, and I don't have to be no fucking medical doctor to figure that out, and I'm sick of people up there always talking about, oh, you're not a medical doctor. How do you know these, man, all these medical doctors do go is go to school and practice. If I go to school and read and practice, I could be a doctor too, okay? Problem is they make it hell of expensive to go to school out here to be a doctor because they want you not to, to, to strive for that, all right? But anyway, that's a whole other topic within a topic. But I'm just saying, common, critical thinking, logic, sense, okay? They're giving you the virus to combat the virus. No, 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 baby. All you got to do is pump up your immune system so that your own natural body can fight it off. You don't need a shot to fight off shit. They got you brainwashed under the guise that you have to get this shot to be well. And then another thing, a lot of conspiracies going around out there talking about the 5G. And I'm going to get into the 5G. I'm going to do some further research on the 5G. And then I'll drop a blog about the 5G. But it's some research going on talking about the 5G is making the people sick. They're trying to install these towers all over. It's basically cooking you from the inside out, radiation style, okay? Making you sick, giving you, giving you symptoms, okay? And then it, it, it's just... It's just so many things going on at one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's really going on? That's that's what you really want to ask yourself. But that that article was very concerning to me. And I, I was recently looking uh, up a patent because uh, uh, someone put a video out on Facebook. And they were talking about how the U.S. had this patent since 2006. It is a patent out for the coronavirus for the U.S., all you got to do is research it and look for yourself. It's there. And the EU vaccine for it. So basically what the guy was saying in his video was that they're going to make this virus cause chaos and then the Europeans are going to save the day. But we already know your plan. It ain't going to work that way. You're not saving the day because you're, you're, you maliciously, to me, and this is my opinion, is causing chemical warfare on the people. And that's not right. That's a crime against humanity. In so many words, and the criminals that are behind this should be locked up. They should be persecuted to the highest extent of the law. And that's just my intake on it, because this is this is this is murder. This is genocide on a global scale, you know, and this is my intake on it. So all of a sudden you want to come push this uh, this whole 
vaccine thing on people. Then you're talking about you want to chip people. No, you want control of the world. And see, that's not cool to, to, to trick the people like that. But this is what happens when the people don't get up and read and educate themselves to know that knowledge is power. Because at the end of the day, through all this, the truth will come out and the truth will be put out there. Okay. Um, to me, to, to, I tell people out there all the time when I'm talking to them, I tell them, Hey, don't panic. You know, they want you to panic and fear causes you to get sick. Okay. Fear definitely causes you to get sick. And I just want to let my people know out there for sure. Don't fear this. It affects certain blood types from my research or from what I'm reading. The old blood type don't seem to be affected as much as the other blood types, like the RH and certain other blood types. So to me, it seemed like a genetic disease going on, you know, and it's affecting a certain gen- people of, with certain genes. But I do notice a lot of our people, I don't know why they're doing this. Maybe they were paid money. But they're coming out talking about they have this this virus. And they know damn well they're not sick like that. And it's sad that, like I said, once again, selling your people out, trying to keep them scared, have their mind all caught up. Because even at work, even with people I deal with at my job, we used to come in being a certain way. Now everybody acting all distant and funny. This is just showing me that I'm a, I'm I'm an antisocial for a reason. I'm an introvert for a reason. I stay to myself for a reason because when people get like this, start acting funny over some bullshit. I'm happy I'm a loner. Put it like that cuz I could be alone for every day all day and really not it doesn't bother me at all. I don't go stir crazy. I don't I don't go crazy or anything like that, you know? I know we're in the the first beginning of spring, and I know in the springtime, allergies come and and flus and colds come because in nature, it happens every year. Every season, you get some type of little illness that want to come around. So to me, what is the difference? COVID-19, okay, some people are dying from it, but guess what? It's a lot of unhealthy people around the world, okay? A lot of unhealthy people eating a lot of bullshit taking in a lot of preservatives, taking in a lot of things that's not good for their bodies, drowning their immune systems with Diet Coke and and Splenda with all that sucralose and cancers in it. For all you know, you probably set your body up to contract the virus by eating unhealthy. And they've been setting you up for years. So when they finally set this shit off, it would affect you at at, at the most. Elderly people I feel bad for because, yeah, it's hard for them to get mucus off their lungs and breathe, but they're already old. Not to be cruel or say anything wrong, but like I said, if if this virus is affecting the elderly, you know, they they kind of lived their courses here on the planet. Yes, this, this virus is attacking the elderly and, and people with bad immune systems and bad um, health issues, okay? And I look at it as an attack. That's just my opinion. I, I feel like it's a bioweapon attack on the people. You know, the chemtrails, all the stuff that they're doing against nature. It's not right. It's not right. And someone has to speak up on this. It's not right what they're doing to nature. You know what I'm saying? So nature is whooping ass back, okay? Nature is coming around because we have to go back to the ground to be able to do things. And then another thing with these markets and stuff, acting funny and stuff with their food and stuff, we have become complacent. We have become lazy, okay? We have forgotten how to take care of ourselves. We are supposed to be growing gardens. I feel like every house should have a little garden in the back, even an apartment. Build you a container garden. Everybody should know how to grow their own food. Everybody should know how to stand on their own leg just in case they have to take care of themselves because, we were born into a matrix, okay, where we were taken care of, we were spoiled, you know, and everything coming into this world. We were spoiled. We thought this was just the way of life, but the system, as you can see, is breaking down, and the people are are, are leery. I wouldn't be surprised if next the banks crashed, because then that would really send the world in a spin. The banks crash, people are really going to panic. 
we think this is something. Shh, let the banks close. It's going to be a mess. Everybody going to be fighting, trying to, trying to get what they can get. You know, that's when you're really going to see humanity vibrate at its lowest vibration. Okay. The problem is, is a lot of people have not flipped over to their Godheads. They so busy vibrating on lower frequencies that they don't understand that in order to um, get above and, and treat everybody with love and kindness, you have to vibrate at a certain frequency. You can't be vibrating on a low frequency or you're going to act like an animal when they, when they do set off this 5G or whatever they set off. A lot of freaky things about to happen in the future. Welcome to 2020. This was a bang, okay? And then pay attention because they got the real IDs coming out too this year. And the real IDs are supposed to be launched October 2020. And supposedly, if you don't have this real ID, you won't be able to travel out of your state. You won't be able to go anywhere. So at the end of the day, it just seems to me like more um, rights are being taken away from the citizens. Because we do know, like in my... Other pl- blogs and podcasts, I talked about the U.S. being a corporation, okay? And I talked about the indigenous people that needs to claim their nationality to basically escape all these mandatory rules uh, and, and, and codes that's getting ready to come upon the corporation and the U.S. citizens and their corporations. But like I said, people need to read and wake up. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I believe this is a repeat of history, okay? Ain't nothing new under the sun. They had the Black Plague back then, the Spanish flu back then. You know, people were dying back then. It's just the same thing now. It's just a different name, different spin. And the more people educate themselves on this, the less they will panic. And if the media would stop pushing fear, then I believe the people will stop panicking. But... That's all I got to talk about tonight. Like I said, um, everybody stay safe out there. Remember to be kind to your fellow man. And like I said, try to vibrate higher, meditate, do what you got to do. Get some, invest in some crystals. Um, Be at peace with yourself because we're going into a day where we're about to see humanity and how how much love is really there for, for, for humanity amongst their own people. But this is Swarthy Communique. I like to say peace. Check my blog out, www.swarthycommunique.com. Also, like me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Like me on Facebook under Up for Discussion, the blog and podcast. And I'll see you guys basically, hopefully, on Friday with Freestyle Friday, where we just basically talk about anything. Anything you want to talk about, topics, uh, anything. Uh, Like I say, it's random. But thank you for tuning in, and you all be blessed. Peace. Crazy, crazy.